Hey there, Vikrant here. Hey, Subro here. And today we shall be discussing. So this video will be in two parts. In the first part, we will talk about the subjects that are made uh, that are taught in RWTH Aachen University. And in the second part, we will talk about the subjects taught in MSM Maastricht. So let's get started. Supro, manufacturing technology one and two. Tell us something about that. So this is mainly about manufacturing of things, as in general, you know, uh, different kinds of processes like water machining or uh, say how lasers are used to manufacture things. How you uh, what kind of material will make your cutter in a die tool or in a milling tool and things like that. The exam is pretty chilled out, pretty easy. There is a very nice wrap up session done by the chair. Don't miss that session. Almost eighty percent of the exam is told in that session. Uh, the next one, production management yep. A and B. So production management A and B again comes in both the semesters one and two, just like manufacturing technology. So you have the A in first and the B in second. This is one of the easiest cakes to work on and in the MME course because basically these subjects are open book. So open book means that you get the whole lectures in your files. All arranged together, bookmark nicely, and then you basically can refer to the whole book to answer the whole exam. Now, the thing to remember in this case is that your notes have to be A1, or make sure you take it from someone who has made A1 notes and has marked and highlighted everything that is important. All right, uh, industrial engineering. I heard that was an interesting subject. So industrial engineering earlier it was known as industrial engineering and ergonomics. I mean, and ergonomics is an important part in the industrial engineering subject. The name exactly doesn't really signify what it teaches. It teaches actually the working conditions and all in in industries, basically the factory work. So how a worker can get stressed, in what kind of positions he should not work, what kind of weight. Uh, should be different for a male, a female of different heights and all. So it's ergonomics, a lot of it, and then there is other things like industrial engineering. So basically, how lighting, how sound quality in a factory should be. All right. Yeah. Okay. That is really good to know. Welding and joining technologies. This is actually one of the pitfalls of the MME course, or the the subject in itself is a pitfall in all of RWTS because the chair. That is welding chair is very strict and takes its job really seriously. You actually understand how deep the welding as a technology can go when you understand when the exam comes that you felt like okay A B C and D are all kind of similar. I'll just mug the basic and do it. You will see questions pertaining to each welding separately, which will catch you exactly where you thought it was easy, and you will get no marks because they are they are damn tough. That that so be careful. To be really thorough with your concepts in welding and techn joining technologies. Moving on, what about quality management? Pretty okay subject, as in it's somewhere in between. You, I can say uh, production management, what I told, and say manufacturing technology or say welding, somewhere in between. It is again chaired by a quite a professional and organized chair. So all the subjects basically. One interesting thing in MME is every subject kind of bears. The trademark of the controlling professor of the the head of the chair. I think this is common for all the RWTH subjects. Even Vikrant will agree that the subject is the signature of that professor. Yeah. So in quality, this guy is such that the the lectures are not really important to attend. You can actually bunk and do the whole study by yourself. What is important to attend, just like manufacturing technology, is the last wrap up session in quality management because again they almost give. They give six or seven questions, and they basically tell you which chapters those six or seven questions will be out of the thirteen or fourteen. So your workload is cut to exactly where you need to get marks from. Uh, what about machine tools? The <laughs> most one of the most dreaded. Actually, there were two earlier: machine tools and mechatronics. So again, the signature of the the chair professor. This is our famous and actually very well reputed and regarded professor Brescher. Professor Brescher is regarded as one of the toughest nuts to crack. In in RWTH because he again is a really brilliant professor. He tests your concepts like anything. The questions are repeated many times over the years, and still you can't do it in the time constraint that you have. Uh, so in this one, plain advice: go to all the classes, learn as much you can, slog it, and that's the only way you you actually clear it well. 
Moving on, let's get away from the technical subjects and get more into the MME management side. Supro, what is innovation management? So this is a management subject which is actually coming from the technical te- technological background. So innovation management actually deals with something like 3D printing, if you may. It actually deals with how IKEA basically innovated how furnitures were seen in the world. So that's the basic idea. Like the companies which have innovated and disrupted how business is done and such companies going forward. Say a new example today is Tesla, Vikrant's favorite Elon Musk's company and all. How they do business. Let's go into more of Elon Musk. Entrepreneurial strategy. <laughs> Entrepreneurial strategy, okay. This one again comes in the first semester. Well, in our time, this is the one subject which started even before we reached Germany. We actually had home assignments which were started one month before the course started by itself. So, Professor Brettel is a very passionate professor who wanted us involved in it from before. Not much. I mean, in general, just very basics of entrepreneurship, basics of leadership more than management, if you may. And... uh, because entrepreneur, entrepreneurship means that, like leadership. So simple subjects. And one thing, RWTH exams are, uh, RWTH management exams are like a cakewalk compared to the engineering side. The exams are pretty chilled out. I mean, if you just study your lectures, which are not too much in load, like the engineering ones, you will fairly pass them. I mean, you will fairly get good marks on them. All right. Okay. Moving on, finance and accounting. Okay, finance and accounting, having said that RWTH exams, management exams are easy, this one is not. This one is not a little bit because it is the one subject that actually has proper maths because it is finance and accounting. It's not everyone's forte. Not everyone really wants to become a finance guy or goes into finance. So people who are passionate in it just ace this subject. The other people also don't have so much difficulty. I mean, you just have to get your head around the calculations that are the profit and liability sheets how to read a uh, company's balance sheet that is the main thing i mean if you are into shares and all it might help you here in this subject okay that was good to know and finally the last one marketing management oh my favorite subject obviously that's the subject and the chair under which i did my thesis headed by one of the most brilliant and my favorite professor in in rwts professor daniel wenzel one of the most cool marketing aces, I would say. Chilled out and still he's he's actually an ace. He's an ace in consumer behavior. So the main thing is he's very interactive. The exams will also be democratic. You can even request open book. He can make half of it open book and all that. All right. That was really good. That's, that's marketing. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Supro. And let's see, have you back once again discussing the subjects in the next two semesters. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Ciao.